Atlas. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for tonight's main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Here's that for Sarah. An impressive record of 25 victories, including 23 knockouts and only one defeat. Coming out of London, David the Haymaker Hay. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Good stuff by David Hay, working his combinations well. <laughs> Halfway through this round here, good combination to the head. Hey, hands up! Hands up! Come on! Strike after catching one by David Hay. <laughs> David Hay, big shot. It takes a big punch to bring down a big man like David Hay. But Hay is down. corner needs to really get to their man after this round they need to treat him after that knockdown they also need to give him some sound advice what's the advice you'd give him well first of all if they're gonna get the chance to get to him he better move his head but the advice i would give him is hey you go out this next round and you kill some time tie him up a little bit right from the beginning don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round just get yourself back together now he's putting his punches together the combination upstairs so he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He comes back with the left hand again. He scored well after being hit himself. Good step back counter punch there. And he returns on that exchange. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Does he wrap him on? One, dance, dance, Two, dance. three, four, five, Get to your feet. six, seven, eight, up, nine, up, up. David Hayes showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. A three-punch combination scores. Nice work by David Hayes. He just missed that shot up top. On, 
A crushing two-punch combo by David Hay. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And there he is scoring with the right hand. Jump on him, jump on him right now. David Hayes landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And just grabbing on to his opponent. David Hayes' punch didn't come close. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Okay, man. that last okay. round really good. damaged him. You're good. David Hayes' face does not look good at all. You can see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they tended to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head? Don't get caught so you won't look that way. Maybe they didn't do their job. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Did you see that? And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. One, two. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Turn the sender with the left hand. Not able to land the uppercut. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. David Hayes coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Great round now. Back and forth after he did the hurting. He's the solid. Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. David Hayes, a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, the winner, David. There's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared?